how we have more freedom because sometimes if you're in a classroom all day like just taking notes sometimes you're writing down the information but it's just not absorbing it and so with active learning we're able to discuss it and kind of get a better understanding the greatest thing that we've seen is the actual students being engaged and that's the outcome of everything we want to see is how the students are accepting everything that we've put forward for them and the responses we've had back from students of now learning is fun is the biggest thing that motivates us to continue doing what we're doing right now. We see really positive um, outcomes with our with our state testing. We're using Engage to Learn, we're, we're using collaborative learning, project-based learning, which we're seeing success within our school district. Um, those are the things that we're really excited about. We're also seeing that students are, are learning more and they're prepared once they leave uh, our school district. Active learning is, the name of it is really descriptive because it is very active. So rather than sitting and listening, Students are actually allowed to and encouraged to use really all of their senses. Many times it involves even hands-on work, but in a lot of times it involves collaboration between students. Well, this is an opportunity uh, that's presented to the board to be able to come out to the schools and to, to watch engaged learning taking place, the active learning process that we've invested in. Um, and so it really has, is a great experience for me as a board member to see how the, invest, the investment is transforming um, into the actual work that's happening in the classroom. Active learning really looks like engagement. It, it's where the kids are doing the work. Kids are involved in making those discussions and building things and creating and the teachers are more the facilitator. And so it's really that, you know, taking the person from standing in front of it to, to getting them in the middle of the classroom and, and getting the kids doing the work. It really goes back to the, the student's satisfaction, the student's comprehension, the student's understanding. I mean, because, you know, that's one of the things we went to this year. We went to a 90-minute block, and so you've got 90 minutes of instruction. And so we've got to get, uh, we're seeing those kids more engaged. And so, you know, less downtime, less boredom, less, you know, it, it's that much more time engaged on task, on focus, and allowing them to create. Now you can incorporate the things you've learned in other classrooms with the group work and talking to people, and you can incorporate that outside of school, and you still get that active learning, and you get a better understanding of whatever you are learning.